Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Real quick, if you are new and you do enjoy this video, make sure to go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe so you do not miss out on any more of my FIFA 19 player reviews or FIFA 19 content in general. So yeah, you clicked on the t you clicked on this video because of the title. As you can see, I'm doing a player review on 86 rated Champions League Allison Becker from Liverpool, the Brazilian goalkeeper this year uh, from ex Roma to now to the Premier League playing at uh, Liverpool. Um, as you can see, I was lucky enough to pack this guy. I got him in the two-player uh, Champions League packs. I did my first one. I opened it, and I was lucky enough to pack him, and I was very, very surprised because at the time, I needed a goalkeeper. Um, and yeah, his current price, from what I know, is... Actually, let's go ahead and check the market real quick to see what his price is. I'm going to go ahead and show you live... On the PlayStation market what his current price is let's go over here to special last time I checked it was in the upper 80s it was like close to 90,000 okay so, okay so it's oh okay so it's dropped quite a lot uh, last time I checked he was around 89,000 there's only two pages of him up um, and the cheapest is 77,000 as you can see right here so I was pretty lucky enough to pack this guy, you know, because for 70,000 coins, I don't think any goalkeeper is worth that much uh, in FIFA in general because goalkeepers just let in the dumbest stuff. Uh, but yeah, let's get straight into this review. I'm going to give you my first initial impressions of him and why I'm running him in this team that is in a Premier League team. So when I packed him, I was running two Brazilian center backs in my defense in my Serie A, so he linked in perfectly. But then I upgraded to Costas Madalas, so he is now on 7 chemistry, only getting a soft link from Juan Jesus, uh, the Brazilian center back from Roma. Sadly, he's no longer at Roma, because if he was, then he would get two perfect links here. But on 7 chemistry, I've used him on 7 chemistry for about, I'd say, 120 games or something like that. 100, maybe 110, uh, at most 110 games on 7 chemistry. And he's done... You know, just fine. I will, at the end of my review, I will be uh, putting in some clips of his saves and what he's good at and what he's not good at. Um, so if we look at the face stats, as you can see, he has 83 diving, 82 handling, 86 kicking, 89 reflexes, which is key on a goalkeeper. You need those high reflexes for those one-on-ones. Uh, 55 speed and 84 positioning coming in at 6'3", so 6 feet with 3 inches. His save technique is traditional. Preferred right foot, 3-star weak foot, uh, 1-star skill moves. And as and in my opinion, weak foot with the goalkeeper isn't all that noticeable, honestly. I don't see the difference between a goalkeeper having a 1-star weak foot and a 5-star weak foot. I honestly, I personally can't tell the difference. Um, I, I, just, I guess I just never use his weak foot. Um, but, but yeah, as you can see, if we go over to his actual in games, 83 diving, 82 handling, 86 kicking, 89 reflexes, uh, 59 acceleration and 49 sprint speed and 84 goalkeeper positioning. But with the basic chem style on five, on not five chemistry <laughs> on seven chemistry, he goes up plus five in every category except the speed. So he would go to 88 diving, um, 87 handling, uh, what is that, 91 kicking, uh, 94 reflexes, he would go up to 62 acceleration, and he would go up to 89 positioning. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. When I had him on 10 chem, he played exactly the same as he's playing now. Maybe a tad bit better, but when he was on 10 chem, he would get 10 boost, a 10 plus boost in every single stat so he would have 93 diving 92 handling 96 kicking uh 99 reflexes and 94 positioning with the speed getting boosted up by like i think 10 but it, it really that doesn't really make a difference um so yeah he he honestly has played exactly the same oh i'd say a little a tad bit worse than before but it's not that noticeable unless you play a ton of games with him as you can see, I've played 136 uh, games with him. And that the only reason I've played that many games with him is because he's a decent goalkeeper and he's very expensive. And uh, the goalkeeper that I would rather have in this team is Handanovic. And Handanovic goes for way too much, in my opinion. 
Um, so I might just use him the entire year if I do have, um, you know, that Brazilian link or if I ever switch over to the Premier League, which possibly won't happen uh, because I think it's a little bit boring. Um, but yeah, uh, I'd say out of like 10 long shots in about five games, he concedes maybe two out of 10 long shots, which is very, very good. So he's really good with his, uh, with his, you know, with his long shots. The only thing he's not good with is catching the ball. That is one thing I have. That's like one of my pet peeves with a goalkeeper is when they don't catch the ball. It's a simple ball to catch. I know not most of the shots are simple. Most of them have uh, high power, you know, low power, but even some low, like weak shots, he doesn't catch. He just pushes them out and it causes rebounds. Most of the time he pushes them out, you know, towards like, you know, straight down the field or to the side, giving away a corner. But sometimes it's just that small. Sometimes he does give away the ball to the opponent right in front of him. And that does uh, make me concede uh, some goals, but it's not that much. So I wouldn't really take that into consideration when buying him. Another thing, his diving. 83 diving, maybe it's because of that five plus boost, but his diving feels superb like it's so good this guy literally if it's a bottom right corner shot this guy is going to outstretch his entire body to try and get to that shot sometimes he gets to it most of the time he does maybe like once or twice he won't but uh but apart from that his diving is incredible reflexes reflexes on allison and one-on-one -on -one shots or in some crazy like corner headers this guy literally spreads his body and it is it, it, it is nuts. It, it's really good. Positioning, he's always well uh, well positioned. You know, you'll never really catch him off of the line or something like that unless you call the goalkeeper out. But apart from that, his positioning as well. Speed at 55. I really don't know the difference between 55 speed and like 70 speed on goalkeepers. It, it, to me, it, I, I really don't notice it. Um, and then kicking. His kicking is decent. You know, for a goalkeeper that's 86 rated. You know, he, he does get the, the ball down the field very, very far. So I wouldn't say his kicking is bad. It's, it's you know, it's up there with the good kickings on the goalkeepers. Now, one thing I do not like about this card um, is his throw. Sometimes I'll receive the ball from my center back. He'll pick it up. And when I want to launch the ball, let's say to my winger, like in St. Air Perisic, and they're about like, I don't know, maybe like a hundred, maybe 200 feet away. Most of the times the ball will get intercepted either when it's about to land or like in the air, it'll get intercepted by the opponent. And that is one thing I wish he had is that long throw trait, which he doesn't, or I don't know if he does, but if he does have it, then it's honestly, it's honestly doesn't work because his, his throw isn't that good in my opinion. But apart from that, that's the only like, negative thing I'd be able to say about this card is his, you know, his throw. Apart from that, this guy has saved me so many times in matches. Um, he does concede goals. Every goalkeeper concedes goals, you know, stupid goals, good goals, um, and, and all that stuff. Uh, so yeah, that is my review for 86 rated Allison Becker currently playing at Liverpool. Uh, this is the Champions League version. The gold version is literally, there's not much of a difference. He would have 82 diving, 81 handling, 85 kicking, 88 reflexes, 54 speed, and 83 positioning, which isn't that big of a deal. Um, so if you don't want to pay that much for his Champions League card, which is a lot of coins, I don't recommend you buy this card unless you were able to pack him or pack his like inform whenever he gets one. I wouldn't recommend you buying his Champions League one. I would recommend that you buy his normal card as it would work just fine uh, and dandy just like this one. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. This was my uh, review on Allison Becker, 86 Champions League rated card. Now for you to enjoy some of his saves and some matches where he has saved me from either going down or conceding a goal and drawing the match. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe so you do not miss out on any more of these type of videos. And yeah, enjoy these saves. Está transitando el perímetro del área, buscando un espacio. Atento, todo. Para la rotativa se tiro de esquina. Morata. Le pega uno. Y ahí está. 
pueden aprovechar ahora desde el córner la gran pregunta. 